Hi, this is Luana Rubin from eQuilter.com, and I am so jazzed to be here at the 2010 Houston Quilt Festival. I am here just to take you on a tour of some of my favorite quilts. I can't show you all of them, but we're going to run through the show, and I'm going to show you some of the highlights that really caught my eye. Come on, let's go. I'd like to show you some of the quilts that didn't win prizes but are so interesting in this show. One of the things that I love about this show is that it continues to expand and change. In one of these categories, Art Painted Surface every year is new and different and something that we've never experienced before. So this quilt behind me, you would think, oh, it's pieced and appliqued, right? Wrong. It is hand painted and then embroidered. Take a close look. So that last quilt appeared to be more traditional. This one looks a little more contemporary, but again, it's a painted whole cloth, and then it's been machine stitched. Take a look at those little geckos. They're painted with pearlescent paint, so in person you get a real shimmer from the pearlescent paint. Here we are in the art painted surface category still, but this quilt is not trying to look like a traditional quilt. It looks like a photograph. It's been hand painted and then machine stitched. Just gorgeous. This hand-painted and stitched portrait from Quito, Ecuador shows a little girl in a box. That's the only toy she has and she's in the marketplace from a photo by the artist. This really caught my eye because, of course, as you know, eQuilter gives a lot of money to charities to help children in developing countries. This piece called Innocence is by multi-award winning artist Hala Chatelaine and it depicts the face of a boy, hand-painted, very large scale. But when you get close, you can see many faces of other children stitched into the tonal background. It's a fascinating piece because you see it from a distance, the boy's face captures you, and then you come close and you are drawn in by all of the other children's faces. And the details in here are just incredible. Take a close look at the heavy, dense stitching. Very directional with a lot of color detail on this piece. Major awe factor, right? The cute little raccoon is all snuggled up and curled up taking a nap, but it's different from the other ones that we've showed you because it is mostly an image made out of stitching and thread. Flowers are a perennial favorite here, pardon the pun. This is a begonia. We've seen a lot of lilies and roses and so on over the years, but this is a pretty unique flower, I would say, here at the show. And one thing that you're not able to see is that it's been painted with glittery paint, so there's a little subtle sparkle in between all of the stitching. Isn't it beautiful? Over the last two years, I've been to the Tokyo Quilt Festival twice, and I also met teacher and artist Yoko Sato while she was teaching her Japanese taupe quilt uh, technique in Florence, Italy. And after seeing these teachers and these quilts and these classes, I really came to a deeper understanding of the whole taupe quilt phenomenon. Here we have behind me a beautiful taupe quilt with birds and flowers by a Korean artist. Take a close look at these birds, they're just exquisite. And now for something completely different, going from taupe to red, and not just red, this is like a bright wow red. This is a major color trend, black and white with a pop of color, except in this case it is red with black and white, and red is also a color trend. Take a look. Incredible. Really grabs you when you're walking down the aisle. I love this beautiful piece by a Japanese artist, and it really shows that Japanese aesthetic. I find that when I buy fabrics, I'm keeping our different customers internationally in mind because the Japanese artists tend to buy a certain type of fabric, our Australian quilters, our European customers. I can always tell when the Japanese customers place an order though. So this is reminding me of that. And take a close look at some of these delightful and whimsical little flowers on a white background. White is a color trend too. I think we're all really searching and yearning for a sense of simplicity and clarity, and so we're seeing white as a color trend in fashion and home deck and now in quilts. I was delighted to see that this piece is by a friend of mine from Boulder, Colorado, where eQuilter is located, by Judith Traeger, and I was also kind of sad to see that it has a story attached to it about her having rheumatoid arthritis and that she's had to move from gardening outside to gardening indoors making a garden of flowers on her quilt. But what beautiful detail in the stitching. 
You may have noticed, if you buy fabric from eQuilter, that I have a little sense of humor and I especially love fabrics and quilts that make you laugh or make you smile. And this one definitely made me laugh when I saw it. First thing I thought when I saw it was, oh, Andy Warhol. It's actually a uh, four panel image of a water tower and it's named Marilyn. As in Marilyn Monroe. Get it? <laughs> Here we are in the heart of the tactile architecture category and I wanted to show you this piece just because I love purple and green. But notice the shading in the hand eyes. I know that a lot of our customers buy hand eyes to do this type of applique and piecing art quilting such as this. So here we're going to show you a couple black and white quilts. Black and white is a very strong color theme right now and a lot of it is coming from graphic design. But here we have a very abstract piece showing ruins in Scotland. And here's a more literal interpretation of black and white, New York City by an Italian quilter. We are here in the handmade category which is traditionally dominated by Japanese quilters. I particularly love this piece which is about the blessings of the forest. In her description here, she talks about her love of the forest and clean air and the environment. And as you may know, eQuilter gives money to various environmental causes because that's very important to us as well. Here we are in the wearable art category. Sadly, the Bernina Fashion Show no longer exists, and I miss that because it was a lot of fun to see pieces, my pieces, up on the runway. But we still have beautiful garments being produced and shown and awards being given. This is a piece that I really picked out because it shows that color trend of taupe and red mixed together. And that is another color trend of just combining unexpected colors together. A neutral with a bright primary. Who would have thought? We are now in the merit hand quilting category and not surprisingly this category tends to be dominated by Japanese quilters. I'm not surprised because when I go to Hawaii to visit my husband Paul's parents, I see a lot of Japanese visitors there and they are just scooping up those beautiful Hawaiian quilts like crazy. Here behind me we see the color trend of red, in this case kind of a cherry red and strawberry red in a hand eye that has been meticulously hand quilted over a white background with beautiful hibiscus flowers. Here's another beautiful Hawaiian quilt made by a Japanese quilter, but in this case we have a very contemporary pop of color. And here's the last Hawaiian quilt that I want to show you by a Japanese quilter, but a very subtle color combination. I just wanted to show you, I wanted to give you a very close, uh, close up bug's eye view maybe we could call it, of this white, the soft ivory white on a natural background. So exquisite. I hope you've enjoyed this tour, but guess what? There's a part two. So go to have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, take a little break, come back, and we'll go see some more fabulous quilts. Yeah.